just because I'm black, I'm supposed to vote Democrat? Really, that's how this works? People can't understand why people, black people that is, rock with Donald Trump so much. And usually, just in my humble opinion, when I see somebody talking about why they don't like Trump, they don't actually give you a reason on like something that he did. They just go, he makes me feel, he makes me feel. <laughs> I'm serious. You should vote for Donald Trump. And my family was like, what? Right, right, right. Yeah. Nah, but when you really get down to the root of it, black people are more conservative. Mm -hmm. But it's just the issue, I think, of like branding and media narratives. Um, the media is so successful at getting people to think that if you don't vote for the Democrats, then you hate black people or mm -hmm. you're like racist or some shit like that. I don't know what it's going to take for us to, you know, break those chains and uh, just have the ability to think freely and vote for whoever the fuck we want without being chastised. No, for real. And I feel like that stems from like just having like a binary society where it's red or blue. Mm -hmm. It really just that constricts us to one side and one ideology. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, if you had to pick a side, you don't want to pick the racist side. Right. Mm. It's just like, oh, I got to go with You know why them. they're racist, but you just know they're racist. So mm. you're not going to choose them. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. The left is so good at what they do because they they have fear mongers. They're amazing at what they do for the simple fact that they branded and brainwashed us black people into thinking that if we don't vote Democrat, then we're going against ourselves. Personally, some I'm somebody who genuinely believed that as a black man growing up in America. They're serious. Uh, and I've always been taught that the Republicans are the racist party. When you look at the history of the Democrat and the Republican Party, you will find out that it's in fact not opinion, not based off of just me hearing something from a Trump supporter, but actually doing some research myself, found out that the Democratic Party actually supported slavery. They didn't want to give women's rights. They didn't care about voting, women voting, or black people vote, none of that. You know what I mean? This is how they fooled us. They got so good at this. Now, let's try to get a take on why some black people just don't like the fact that black people like Trump. If it's one thing about Jasmine Crockett, Congresswoman, she's gonna keep it real. Why do black people, in your opinion, think that Trump was better for us than Biden? I ain't, I ain't faking it out. False. Look at the grocery store, man. Look at the gas prices. Look at the, okay. Oh, I, I don't know. I hear black folks say like, oh, you know, because Trump gave us money, Trump gave us checks. No. Oh, I it's not about the stimulus. Yes, this is going to be a pause fest. And no, I'm not genuinely mad right now. But it's not just about the stimulus. <laughs> you know, uh, those are for the people who really aren't into politics and stuff like that. The, you know, I don't like the whole stereotype black people just, oh, you know, he give us money. So much more than that. Oh, I, now, now let me tell you, now, he was good. Now, listen, I'm going to give Trump some props <laughs> right here. The only time you'll ever hear from me. He is a master at propaganda. So people don't know that he was fighting. So when the stimulus checks came out, he was fighting to make sure that his actual signature was on the checks. Would not really, people probably, they could have had their money earlier, but Trump was fighting to make sure that his name was on that check so people would be perceiving that the money came from him when it didn't. That was the act of Congress, number one. Same thing with the food boxes in the midst of COVID. Uh-huh. He had to make sure it was a letter in all the food boxes from him. Like he didn't went into his own garden and pick this stuff <laughs> for them. And he takes advantage of what, what people frog. don't know, which is they don't understand how government functions. So yeah, do yourself a favor and study civics again. Oh, she said he's a master at propaganda. I want to know. <laughs> I really want to know. So you deciding whether you like Trump or not based off the fact that he wants to put a signature on a check. <laughs> you just, you, you know, he's been so selfish. He wants to, he want to put a, he wanted his name on a check. And, and, and that right there is the reason why I can't vote for him. Really? I don't give a damn if the man wanted to put his name on a god dang on check. I don't care. He could have all the, whether or not the, all they cared about was whether the check was going to cash. I didn't actually sit there and say that, you know, he's a master of propaganda and that be a point. This be a point. And this is what I'm saying about the radical left. You sit there and you just throw that, that, you know, gaslighting point out. Oh, he's a master of propaganda. And the example is that he wanted a, his signature on a check. And two, he wanted to have a letter in food boxes, maybe because he wanted to have send uh, uh, gratitude sentiments, some humble sentiments to the American people, a personal letter to him, maybe, maybe not too, I'm just saying. 
but to demonize him off of this is crazy <laughs> now i also want to bring this up we know that ai in recent years has become a prominent force in not only mainstream media but also entertainment and so many other things um and it's starting to get to a point where uh, ai is getting scary you're not able to tell the difference sometimes however there were a whole bunch of ai photos that came out about trump some with him in the black community some with him in jail some with him running from the cops and you know some all, it was all these different various type of photos but because the black men photo the ai black photos came out you have black people like oh yeah you see black people really don't support trump all oh, this is ai and us black trump supporters like yo we we knew that <laughs> i've even used some ai pictures in the in the thumbnail matter of fact i'm gonna use one for this one <laughs> listen if you are black and you support donald trump that is between you and your god but and my god i i can't believe in god so because i don't i'm a, i believe in trump as you know and i support trump as a political candidate i somehow am not a believer of god i have a different god than you this reminds me of when i was in the boxing gym training and there was a pastor in the gym and we somehow got around to hey you you support trump and i go yeah and he lit his literal first question was so do you believe in god bro what how how does those equate but there is something that i definitely want to share with you because i need you to be very cognizant let's get into it greetings guys it's your girl t welcome back to my community of all things pr you cute t and intentional parenting and as a public relations professional i feel like i need to let you know mm -hmm. about the truth yeah. behind trump and his smiling black supporters mm -hmm. yes there are black people that do support him I, I don't know what's wrong with those people but i digress mm -hmm. but there is also ai mm -hmm. yes there are trump supporters that are sharing that they are creating images with trump and black supporters, black voters. Okay. There are some Tim Scotts and Herschel Walkers out there, but this ain't it. What what did she what did she expose? What the heck? What did you expose? <laughs> what is the truth about black people that you need to expose that you said? I didn't get it. <laughs> Maybe you know, I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna say act like I don't get the the point, right? She's saying that hey, you know, be careful of these AI generated images. But she prefaced it by saying that she's gonna expose the truth about black Trump supporters. That's the truth? The fact that you got some people making fake images? This is happening, at, people make fake images every day, B. And no, I'm not calling her the B word. I don't know if y'all guys seen the paid in full movie where it, it was the scene where Cameron said, you know, niggas get shot every day, B. And you know, we kind of play on that. We just say, you know, such and such happens every day, B. Yeah, don't try to make this what it ain't. By the way, this beautiful woman, we definitely disagree on a lot of stuff, but this beautiful woman's um, name is uh, Your Community Publicist. And in no way, shape or form am I trying to demean this woman and nothing like that. Um, you just have a difference of opinion. However, she went on to bring on somebody who previously worked for Trump and he pretty much was insinuating that Trump was just a bad, bad man, but he couldn't give us what actually happened to make him a bad, bad man? It sounds like propaganda, don't it? This is for the people that keep asking me, ooh, T, who are the black people that keep supporting Donald Trump? And I'm like, I don't know. Me. But what I will share with you is that I had the opportunity to have a conversation with someone that ran one of his companies. His oh, wow. Randall Pickett. Check this out. Oh. Yes, for your for your dedicated viewers as the winner of the fourth season of the apprentice mm -hmm. i won the opportunity to run one of donald trump's companies yes that's right somebody's shaking their head right now like oh my God. what a black person won an opportunity to work uh, uh, as the head of one of donald trump's companies so racist I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry yes and and i got to see very early what america got to see very late which is that Donald is a dangerous man. How? And when he announced his candidacy for the presidency, I organized a press conference with other apprentice contestants. Okay. I saw that. Asking them, will you stand with me to denounce his candidacy? And then only four people joined me. 
Okay. Because the other candidates said either of two things. Either I'm actually with Donald or I'm afraid to speak out against Donald. <laughs> Are you talking to some people who may be working with Donald who's saying that they don't want to lose their job, maybe? And also, do you realize that everybody don't agree with you? Just like I realize everybody don't agree with me. But you tried to make it seem like they're afraid in the context of him actually physically harming them. What? And I was not afraid. And I, and I remain undeterred in my criticism, my concern, and my critique of Donald as a leader because he was a hot mess. And, and it is my hope, if not my prayer, that America does not let me down again in 2024 like America let me down in 2020. Let's set the record straight on that. So to answer your question directly. Let you down to 2020. Hey, America let us down to 2020. You, yeah, you sound you sound like you support Trump. How long? What was it like to work for him? Well, you kind of know what I know now. I mean, the Trump organization I found to be a very divisive organization. How? Unnecessarily combative. Lacking of diversity and representation at all levels. So here you have Randall. He's pretty much above reproach. He has a couple businesses, money of his own. Uh, he's a member of Alpha Phi Alpha. He does community service. Great guy. This is what he's saying his experience has been. So I would love to know from you if you support DT. Why? I do support Donald Trump. I can tell you why. Why? Because he actually helped black people when he was in office. Four million jobs. Did you know that? Oh, no. You know what? He also, also... He said this. African Americans built this nation. We built this nation. You know, you're just starting to get real credit for that. Okay, I don't know if you know that. You're just starting to get, you built the nation. We all built it. But you were such a massive part of it. Bigger than you were given credit for. Does that make sense? Right? We can talk about how he reformed the crime bill in which the current sitting president uh, actually implemented, which helped free so many black people. Wow. Let's not talk about the platinum plan. All right. And then outside of just black people, you know, we got to talk about health. Uh, we got to talk about the border situation. We got to talk about what's happening in the deep state. We got to talk about what's happening in the education system, you know, in the school with our kids. Like, it's so many different things that I can talk about other than a fucking stimulus check, for sure. And not only that, if Trump hates black people so much, why does he do and say this? And I'm here today to announce a brand new plan to deliver more opportunity, more security, more fairness, and more prosperity to black communities. We call it the Platinum Plan. Platinum Plan. And that's a contract with black Americans, and it's going to be something that people talk about for a long time. Mind you, the contract with black Americans is something that Ice Cube, a black man, actually presented to Trump. He actually tried to go present it to some Democrats who didn't want to hear him out. In fact, he actually met with a Biden representative who didn't take anything back to that man. <laughs> if you vote Republican over the next four years, we will create three million new jobs for the black community. Open 500,000 new black-owned businesses. Increase access to capital in black communities by $500 billion. And this includes investing in community development, financial institutions, and minority depository institutions. Wow. Tell y'all what. This ain't AI. At the end of the day, whatever side that you on, just know that there's so much hatred going on in the world. There's so much divisiveness going on in the world. I'll just leave this video by saying, I know that we strongly disagree on these issues for sure. This is to the people whom can't understand why as a black man, I support Trump. I understand that we completely differ on these issues for sure, but I got nothing but love for you, okay? Because at the end of the day, all we want is a, be all we want is a better future. We have a different set of circumstances, life circumstances that we went through that equated to our reason and the thought processes of today. But I still have hope. I really do have hope that one day, man, common sense is going to win over everybody. All of us, including me, including you. Because it don't matter what color you are, man. We all bleed the same. <laughs> Forget me saying it, though. Whether we are black or brown or white, we all bleed the same red blood. 
And we are all made by the same almighty God. As long as we remember these truths, we will not fail. Nobody, nobody can beat us. Nobody. Together, we will make America strong again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Now, before I go, I want to say this. You notice how he said that we are all the same under God, the one God. But in the beginning of this video, you've seen how the woman tried to demonize Trump supporters and say that we support some other guy. I don't know about y'all. I go to church every Sunday. I read my Bible. <laughs> I stay prayed up. You got to. 